Well, with Thanksgiving dinners just hours away, many cooks will be busy in the kitchen this morning preparing for the biggest meal of the year. And if you're someone that may be cooking for the first time due to the pandemic, Western Mass News reporter Sabrina Riley joins us live from our MGM studios with some advice to keep safety a top priority. Sabrina. Well, I mean, Thanksgiving is not only a day of celebration and enjoying great food with family and friends, it's also a very busy day, especially for first responders who are dealing with many kitchen accidents. I spoke with the Grand V Fire Department Interim Fire Chief, Robert Chawinski, and he tells Western Mass News that the bulk of their work today will be responding to both medical calls and also kitchen fires. This year, with more new cooks in the kitchen, they are also worried the statistics for fires and other accidents will also increase. His number one piece of advice for anyone, new cook or not, is simple. Stay focused. Concentrate on your cooking. Um, you know, one thing we always tell uh, elderly residents is to, you know, keep a wooden spoon in your hand or something so that way you remember why well, you got to get back in the kitchen, set a timer so people will go back and look at different things. And if problems do arise, make sure you call for help before trying to put out the fire. Once help is on the way, there are a few things you can do to help mitigate small fires, like using a home fire extinguisher if you have one, or placing a lid over the pan that caught fire, or possibly closing the doors to the kitchen or area where the fire is when exiting to stop the airflow. But again, the number one thing to do is make sure you call for help and get to a place where you can stay safe. In Springfield, Sprint Riley, Western Mass News.